Good morning folks. Starting with a how-to, Google Integrated Space Weather Application. Google's kind enough to put it right at the top. When you click here, you will have to download the free app I already have. You got all these panels up top. Let's say you click on New Signets, that's the Ovation Prime. Come back to the Solar tab, panel 10, far left, that's the Earth footprint. The reason I'm showing you this is to abate the YouTube freakout over the nicked magnetosphere simulation going down. You remember the magnetopause position movie? We actually have ways to watch the entire magnetosphere down here as well. All of these charts use ACE data, same as the NICT. That goes for these ionospheric meters you see here. Some people have been totally freaking out, and while the NICT was the best, God admit it, we haven't lost any data. Okay, quakes. This was marked 6.3, 5.7, 6.0. Big discrepancy with this one. There was also a moderate quake in eastern Africa, unusual location there. Way south of Australia, a five-pointer hit the fault and spreading rift there. This is going to become an everyday headline soon, not just in Europe. This is a cool little read about detecting the difference between gas giant planets and slightly larger brown dwarfs. This is the initial severe weather threat for today. Torcon will be updated within the hour. Check it out. Look at the yellow. That's the solar wind speed dying down as we come out of the coronal hole stream from this one turning on the right. That central one is still to come. The resonance is all over the place again on the induction magnetometer. And this morning we on Novation Prime, we see slight particle bombardment. Don't forget we have this eruption right here two days ago set to impact in another day or two. You can see that ejecta popping out here as Jupiter creeps behind the disk. Something else interesting, a sun diving comet you may have trouble seeing on Lasco C3, a problem you should not have at all on C2. Nothing Earth directed last night, we do have that big active region, a few more turning the limb and some filaments. I see no delta spots in the primary active region. Danger is waning, but she might have a parting shot or two. If she has it soon, we may get some extra radiation from it as the Earth footprint is right on that active region. We are also keeping an eye on these spots turning the northeastern limb. Giving Stellarium a break here in favor of the JPL, you can see that today is the Jupiter conjunction. As we move forward, remember that May 20th is the eclipse. Right after that, Mercury conjoins Jupiter on the way to conjoin the Sun herself. The quake watch to start May failed. It's the first failed one of 2012. Here we go again. Be safe, everyone.